so today I'm going to be doing like a kind of um, first impressions. I did use uh, two of the shadows, but um, I'm not using them. The ones that I've kind of tested out. Anyways, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my lids. I'm going to use Elf Eyelid Primer. filming I did moisturize um, my face is having a br like freak out um, as you can see um, anyways <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna do is I'll put down a base and I'm gonna use milk just to make the colors um, appear more vibrant So just to peck on the color, um, I'm just going to use an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, this is from the dollar line, and then I'm just going to go in with, uh, go into the Urban Flower, um, quad, and I'm just going to take this really light green color, I'm feeling green today, probably because I'm wearing my Koopa Trooper shirt, pat it all over that white base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fluffy brush like this. This is actually like probably like a fluffy shader brush, but anyways, um, I'm going to go in with this um, like light brownish base color. And that's going to go in my crease to blend out the green. the Thrill Seeker one, the Thrill Seeker quad, and I'm going to take this really, Today, really dark green. I'll use the angled blending eye brush from e.l.f. And all these colors are very shimmery. Deepen out the outer corner and crease. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a highlight and, um, I don't know, I kind of want to use the shimmery white, anyways, um, I'm just going to use this shimmery white, it kind of has like a pink, um, like, I guess duochrome to it, I'm just going to go in really lightly with it, and I'm just going to put that on my brow bone. So it's not too bad. Usually I use a matte one, but add liquid liner. Um, I know I always use that, but it's what's easier for me. And I'm just gonna use my NYC one. I'm gonna start with my right eye today. I'm gonna try and do it like thin, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, curl my lashes. Anyways, I'm gonna use Mega Plump. Um, from Wet Wild. Um, before I do any under eye makeup, I'm going to put on foundation. And I'm going to use this little, like, sponge that, um, my friend sent me a while ago. And, um... I dampened it, and today I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation, and this is in the color Fair. And honestly, what I do is I just, I don't know if this is a conventional way, but this is what I do.
just like that and that might be a little too much but it's all good so what I do is I just take this and just bounce it really light and the foundation might be a little bit too light for me but if you can see my neck is like really like I don't know I'm really pale my face gets the most sun so I try to like even it out I don't know this is why I don't wear foundation honestly but it was sent to me and I actually really do like the coverage and stuff so I will use it um now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it a little bit with powder because right now it does not look cakey but usually when I add powder that's when it starts looking horrible for me. So I'm just taking the coverall pressed powder in fair light. And I'm just gonna go over so I'm gonna go on like this concealer and I'm just gonna use the Dream Moose concealer in fair light zero one. And they don't sell this anymore. But um whatever, I'm just gonna take that on my middle finger and apply it to my under eyes. my foundation does not look cakey um, is by using a sponge like this so all those years of just like you know not even worrying about it okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add powder and this is where everything starts looking cakey um, so I'm just gonna use a little bit and I'm just using the coverall pressed powder in fair light just using a tokidoki powder brush I believe it is I'm just going to go around my nose and under. I'm going to do bronzer and I'm just going to use my natural bronzer from Ribble in sunlight. It just looks like that. I think I'll use Tickle Me Pink from Rimmel. For my waterline, I'm going to put stash in my waterline. Well, I'm going to put stash in my waterline. And I don't really use this color. It's just like a nice, like, army kind of green color. So now for under the eyes, I'm going to be using this kind of like not dark brown but it's like a medium brown I'm just going to take that on a smudger brush this color that I like the color I use for my highlight in the inner corner So now what I'm going to do is lips. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a combination of a color that I um, came across. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my lips in this like really hot pink color. And it's from LA Colors. And I think it's like very smoothy or something. It looks like, like that. that. And then I'm going to put over... I'm going to put Dollhouse Pink over it. And it's just really like neon, like, like really light bright pink. Um, I don't personally think I could pull it off on my own, but, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna put over the lip liner. Okay, so here's a completed look. If you guys enjoy it, like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.